In 2012, I became involved with an outbreak of IBR in a dairy herd whilst I was working in Edinburgh. Now, the disease was identified in this herd following the death of a first lactation heifer with respiratory problems and a laboratory investigation confirmed IBR to be the cause of this. We had not identified any other classical signs of the disease in this herd, but the herd manager had reported per than average fertility in recent months, which up until this point had been unexplained. Now, to identify how widespread the disease was in this herd, we decided to sample all the milking animals in this herd, as well as the in-calf heifers. And again, somewhat surprisingly, this showed that 99% of the in-milk animals, as well as two-thirds of the in-calf heifers, tested positive for IBR. So this triggered um, us to embark upon a vaccination program for the disease and for this we relied on the use of the Rispavel IBR vaccines. Not only to control further clinical disease but also to reduce shedding from this high proportion of carrier animals in this herd. We first of all vaccinated all the animals in the herd with a single dose of Rispavel IBR Live vaccine, followed within six months with a single dose of Rispavel IBR inactivated vaccine, and then all the animals received a yearly booster injection with the Rispavel IBR inactivated vaccine. Not only was this vaccination program very straightforward, but it also proved to be highly reliable and successful, A, at controlling further clinical disease, but in addition to that, we also showed that the animals that were previously negative in this herd remained free from the virus, so the vaccination protocol managed to reduce or possibly even eliminate shedding from the carrier animals in this herd.